Hi guys, Dane here, and today we have a very special haul because I bought a box of 50 plus books on eBay. It came to about 15 pounds, uh, so I guess like 20 dollars. And we have this big old box full of books here. Uh, I have a biggie here, he's come to help as well, haven't you, Biggs? Um, just because I figure you guys are probably most interested in these, um, I've already been through this, me and Susie went through it, so we both picked out some books. I'm going to show you what we've got here. So I've picked out the ones I'm going to read. We have here Mill Girl, The Diary of Eliza Helstead, Manchester 1842 to 1843. Um, it's like a, I guess a scholastic book thing. It just looks quite interesting. I like kind of the historical kind of stuff as well. Um, but also it's written by Sue Reed, which is what Susie's birth name was. So yeah. Um, then, I've got uh, Dangerous Days on the Victorian Railways by Terry Deary, creator of Horrible Histories. I like Horrible Histories again, I like history stuff so that should be interesting. I have The Roving Mind by Isaac Asimov, a panoramic view of fringe science technology in the science society of the future. Which will be interesting because when was this printed? 83. So it will be interesting to see what he thought the society of the future would be. Uh, and then The Suspicions of Mr. Witcher, or The Murder at Roadhill House, uh, Kate Summerscale. I just know it was made into quite a well-known movie, so I thought I'd give that a read. So those are the ones that I'm going to read from this. Note to self, I sh I'll also put this in my monthly haul. So if you're watching this in my monthly haul, I'll also link below to the video I'm filming this for, which is for this special one-off book box haul. So Susie picked out a couple for herself, so she's going to read... 211 Things a Bright Girl Can Do by Bunty Cutler and uh, How to Be Happy Though Married, Matrimonial Strife Through the Ages. Um, kind of a jokey book. I, this one was actually on the top when I opened the box and I thought it was funny because um, she was married when she was younger. She's no, like, no longer married. I'm not seeing a married woman, don't worry. But um, yeah, so she's going to read those and then she picked these up for her parents as little Christmassy ones. Collins Gem Kings and Queens reference book. The Daily Telegraph, Training Your Brain, Part 1. Uh, R.D. Wingfield, A Touch of Frost, by the creator of the TV series, because I think her mum watches it. And then, Raise Your Glasses, The Best and Wittiest Anecdotes and After Dinner Stories from the Famous, by Phyllis Schindler. That one looks terrible, by the way, that after dinner book, but hopefully your parents enjoy it. And then, this is my book of all the, my box of, this is my box of all the stuff that I'm going to chuck on eBay. So, uh, link below to Dane Reads on eBay. Um, this is why I got this box, basically, is to then resell it. Um, and also, well, I knew the Asimov was in it, and I thought I'd take a punt and hope I found some books that I liked. So we have uh, Lonely Planet, Russia, Ukraine, and Belarus. We have Ludovic Kennedy, A Presumption of Innocence. We have this here, Oslo Pass, a Visit Oslo little guidebook thing. Uh, a first book on teaching by Nancy Catty. Here we have Venice, how to see the city in a day. Uh, we have, what's this? Gone by Sunday, the fabulous ruined life of Diana Dawes by Damien Wise. Uh, M M.G. Demota, the triptych, book one, the cello. The cello? I don't know why I said the cello. Um, I'm guessing... This is self-published. It looks self-published. We have John Jr. memoirs, Listening for a Midnight Train. No, sorry, Listening for a Midnight Tram. I don't know who John Jr. is. Uh, we also have his obituary clipped out of the paper here, inside it as well, which potentially adds to the resale value. The Herculaneum and the Village Ovis in Capri. Little guidebook. This one here is Faces of the Alhambra by Washington Irving, I think. A Test of Time, The Bible from Myth to History by David Roll. The Thatcher Phenomenon by Hugo Young and Anne Sloman. Can't imagine anything worse. Swords in Colour by Robert Wilkinson Latham. Uh, I think that potentially might be worth a few, Bob. The Gold Guides to Venice. The Frank Muir book. Uh, an irreverent companion to social history. Goncharov, Oblomov, a new translation by David Magarshak. Thomas O'Croen, The Island Man. 
British Architects and Craftsmen by Sakavarel Sakura, Sakura, Sitwell. The Narrow Sea, Barrier, Bridge and Gateway to the World, The History of the English Channel by Peter Unwin. Uh, W.G. Hoskins, The Making of the English Landscape. This is a Union County, we're connected to you. A self-guided tour of the deserted village of Feltville slash Glenside Park. Anthony Clare in the psychiatrist's chair. Uh, the Wordsworth Companion to Literature in English by Ian Oosby. This one might be worth a few because it's Cliff Richard. Cliff Richard, which one's Cliff? Frank McCourt, Tis, a memoir, the sequel to Angela's Ashes. Ed Mitchell, From Headlines to Hard Times. Penguin Pass Notes, Chaucer, the prologue to the Canterbury Tales for GCSE. It's interesting to kind of pip, build up a picture of who it was that owned these, you know. Colleen McCulloch, An Indecent Obsession. She's the author of The Thornbirds, which I currently have on my TBR pile. Could do some more of these in a minute, I'm losing my voice. All right, we also have Roma Top, Cooking is Fun. Uh, and this also has an original directions for use manual of a Roma Top, which as you can see is some sort of like ceramic cooking thing. So I think that's quite cool. Um, the Wordsworth Dictionary of British History by J.P. Kenyon. I Should Say So by Bernard Levin. This actually looks uh, self-published, but it's not. It's just a bit of shit. <laughs> um, New Zealand Landscapes by Andrus Apps. I misread his name as Ars when I first looked at that one. Here we have Antonia Fraser, Love and Louis XIV, The Women in the Life of the Sun King. Susie said when we were going through these, she was like, um, like things like that, for example. I'd watch that if that was a documentary, but I'm not gonna read a book about it. The People of Providence, a housing estate and some of its inhabitants, Tony Parker. This is probably the one out of all of these ones that I'm not reading, that I would actually most be interested in, in reading. Um, weather to Travel, The Traveler's Guide to the World's Weather, presented by Maria Harding. Discover Lords, um, I, feel as though um, the people who own these were probably quite religious. I mean, they might have eaten, well, this is a guide to Lords, so I guess they went there looking for healing and shit. A Journey Through the Cotswolds. Here we have William Blum, A Rogue State, A Guide to the World's Only Superpower. So the United States, I guess it's about there. On the Record, Surveillance, Computers and Privacy, The Inside Story by Duncan Campbell and Steve Connor. Let's see the date on this. A book about computers from 1986. That's going to be update, isn't it? Here is Simon Weisenthal, Justice Not Vengeance. And the final ones here, we have William Dalrymple, City of, Yin, uh, City of Gins, A Year in Delhi. We have Birds of Britain, num book number one, a salmon book. We have Christchurch, Gwenda Turner's Christchurch. And Out of Egypt by Ahmed Osman, uh, The Roots of Christianity Revealed. So, those are all the books that came in this box. Uh, as I say, most of them will be going on eBay, but uh, I found a few, Susie found a few, and there are a few for her parents, which is very good. Um, I will link to my eBay below. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments uh, which of these books, if any, you've read, and uh, which ones you'd recommend. Let me know what you thought of our picks as well. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.